it's Carrie Murphy and welcome back to Inspired Living TV where we inspire lives and empower entrepreneurs and this month we have been talking about how to overcome your fear. In the last couple of videos we talked about the fear of being ready. Am I ready yet? And then we talked about the fear of what to say which is what I often hear so much. I don't know what to say and in this video we're going to talk about the number one fear that I hear that keeps people from broadcasting their brilliance and making the difference that only they can make in the world and that is the fear of being seen. Or quite frankly, the fear of being judged. What are people gonna think of me when I start doing videos? What are my colleagues gonna think from my previous job? What are my clients gonna think? Oh, but we don't care about that, right? What are my friends and family gonna think? Are they gonna think I drank some serious Kool-Aid um, and have gone down a path of no return? And the answer is maybe. They might feel that. But let me ask you this. How important is it to you to make a difference in the lives of others? How important is it for you to grow your business? How important is it for you to reach more people? And how important is it for you to share what's on your heart and in your mind and in your soul? I think you have to answer those questions first before you ever press record because the fear of judgment never really goes away. I often share, you know, growing up in entertainment, I would watch myself on camera like I was seriously watching a horror film. You know, it's scary to look at yourself and I don't care what age you are, we always have things we're picking out. My videographer and I right now in this dress, we're like, oh my Lord, right? I'm like, um, what about this, what about that? And you know what, we have to get rid of this, again, this incessant need to show up as something we're not, right? As, as a vision or a version of ourselves that's just gonna please others. That's not how you make an impactful difference or brand. When you think about the influencers out there, when you think about the people that are really like moving, moving the, 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 the market or the target or the people, right? They're not perfect people. They're not a perfect height. They're not a perfect weight. They're not a perfect color. And they're not perfect by any means. You do not need to be perfect to make a difference. And in fact, it's the complete opposite. So I want you to think about those people that you are inspired by. Those people that are role models to you. Look at them, right? Brene Brown, Oprah Winfrey, um, Richard Branson. For some of you, it's Elon Musk. It's, and they're not perfect people, right? Malcolm Gladwell. Um, I love Seth Godin. Like, we don't come in these perfect packaged vessels. Um, and again, when we try to, people are often disconnected because it's not authentic. So that fear of being judged as real as it is, and I totally get it, is keeping you from really like making this incredible impact that you can make, even if it's just one life, right? One life can change one family that leads to one community that leads to so much more. So it's really about getting over that fear and being really comfortable in the skin you're in and saying, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna love me. I, I'm gonna put myself out there because I'm more committed to doing that than the fear of what I'm gonna look like. Now, that all sounds great, I know, but it is a real fear, and what do you do when you are judged? How do you handle the haters or the people making those comments? You delete them, you block them. When I <laughs> interview celebrities, they often say they don't even read the tabloids, they don't read reviews, because it takes them off of what they're here to do. And we all have a heartbeat, right? We're all human beings. And to say it doesn't bother us would not be true, right? But I think that you have to look at who are those people making those comments. One of my good friends, Amanda Tress, she was at Brilliant. We talked a lot about this because she said she had so many haters in the beginning of her business that her husband wondered why she wasn't in the fetal position on the floor in her bedroom. And she said, because I was so passionate about what I was doing and I knew I was onto something. And here's another thing. When you are disruptive in a model, when you're doing something that's new, when you're putting something out there that's a little bold and like not quite mainstream, you're gonna get some kicks, right? You're gonna get people who challenge you. You're gonna be in the middle of some controversy. And let me tell you, that's a great thing. You want people talking about you. You want a little controversy. You don't wanna be vanilla in a chocolate, rocky road kind of world, right? You wanna find your way. And so again, this fear of being seen, like embrace being seen, embrace shaking things up. And if there's a troll, just delete them and move on because that's not your person. 
right? Dr. Seuss said it best. It's none of your business what other people think about you. But again, many of us are females watching this video and we all have this need to show up. So I'm also going to say, like, do what you need to do to feel good about yourself, right? Know your body style, know what to wear on camera. And if you don't know that, like, reach out, ask me questions. We have a, an amazing stylist on our team because, you know, know your body and know how you want to show up again. Know your personal brand and know your business brand. So when you show up, you're in alignment with that. For example, I call myself classic glam. I like classic with a little bit of glam, right? So you just have to find what makes you confident, what makes you feel good, because I think that's one way to get over that fear of being seen as well. Let's face it, everyone has it. From Sheryl Sandberg to Tina Fey, the imposter syndrome is real. Who am I to show up? And my question to you is who are you not? that this need to be perfect, this need to be a supermodel, this need to be you know, the cover of GQ isn't real and people don't relate to that. People relate to you. And the more you show that in your business and in your brand, the more connection and engagement you're going to see. Just look at some of the huge influencers out there. They're real, right? They're showing their post baby bodies. They're sharing their insecurities. They're sharing their relationship stuff. And again, you get to decide how much you unveil in your business but the fear of being seen only comes from not being seen. Remember in that first video, I talked about that the way to overcome fear is in the doing, not the thinking. And what's so great is Laurel, who I was talking about in one of my videos, she was so scared of putting herself out there. And then she realized all this positive feedback she was getting. And she's like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. It's kind of like a, a drug, right? Like, this is amazing. I'm making a difference. This is resonating with people. And now she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she's doing Facebook Lives and putting out her blog post. She actually rented a production studio and is shooting videos. So again, that fear is here. Get here. Get in your heart. Get clear on what you deliver and just be consistent. And that, that fear of being seen will go away. The fear of being judged will not but the impact that you're making will far outweigh it. So you know I can't wait to hear from you. So please post your comments, ask me some questions. Let's start a little controversy here, shall we? <laughs> and as always, if you are inspired, please share this with someone else because when you are inspired, you inspire others. And that, my beautiful friend, is what this world and why you need to be on camera is all about. I hope you have enjoyed this three-part video series. If you missed any of it, go back re-watch, share, post your comments because I love interacting with you and I love hearing from you. As always, remember that there are three keys in helping you show up brilliantly in life. To dream it, dream big, because your dream and what you're capable of is much bigger than what you can see right now. Live it, practice it, do it every day, put it on your calendar, create the life and live the life that inspires you. But you can't do any of that unless you're committed to being it, being the person, being the trailblazer, being the disruptor, being the catalyst that the world needs right now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.